Gotcha. Desolation's Overture is a hunting horn in Monster Hunter World. It has a unique weapon model covered in horns and an actual drum beat for its performance. To finish building this horn, you'll need a Nergigante gem and Zenajiva horns, so it's really an endgame weapon and you should be sure that you want to commit the materials to it. Let's get started with taking a look at Desolation's attributes. Beginning with the attack value, Desolation's Overture gives a very competitive 882 attack, which only one other horn has, the Anja Baron, except the Anja Baron's high damage gets balanced by a negative 20% affinity, which is not true for Desolation's Overture. On top of its high attack value, it also deals 150 dragon elemental damage and it has high Elder Seal. You'll notice that it gets a large blue sharpness bar, so you don't need any of the sharpening skills like Handicraft to get its best sustained damage. However, it only comes with the level 1 decoration slot, and you can only augment this horn one time. Now when we're working with the hunting horns, we always have to assess the buffs as well. Desolation is currently the only horn that buffs affinity. Its affinity up buff will give the entire team a nice 20% affinity after the encore. On top of that, this is one of the three horns in the game that provides earplugs large. So when we examine the earplugs affinity and high elder seal, it looks like this horn is going to be especially good for fighting Nergigante himself. Since he doesn't really require any special buffs or builds to counter, usually just straight damage does the trick. It really helps you if you can break off his spikes, and especially if you can incapacitate him, because you'll get even more time to focus on his spikes. Other than for countering Nergigante, I think this is a great horn for straight output. A lot of powerful weapons have, you know, usually like a negative 20% affinity, and if you bring that down to zero, that really helps because now they don't have a chance to land feeble hits. For example, if you consider the Anja Baron, I mentioned it earlier, if you had Desolation and the other player had the Anja Baron, your buff would significantly improve his output by fixing his negative 20% affinity, at which point he won't be able to, you know, land a feeble hit. Now on the other hand, I do think you have to also be worried that some randoms may already have a build set to reach up to either 90% or 100% affinity, in which case attack up would have been a better buff for that teammate. But I don't know how common those affinity builds are. I have heard of that before, I just I wouldn't know what they look like or how often you run into them. Next I want to mention that although you will get a good straight amount of damage out of the Nergi Horn, it lacks some of the utility and defense that other horns can provide, so it isn't always your strongest option. For example, versus Kushala Deora, you can give your team attack up large and wind pressure negation with the Gamma Horn. Or, when you fight Valhazak, it would probably be better to use Teostra's Orphi so your team can skip building the Effluvial Resist skill and focus on other skills. The last thing I want to talk about is the build I'm using for this horn. I've gone with a simple weakness exploit and attack skill setup. Note that I also take the KO skill to 3 and I also have the Sonorous Jewel for Horn Maestro. If you don't have the Sonorous Jewel, you can use the Bone Coil. I did try this with the Nergiganti armor set and that was actually a fun alternative, but I don't think it's an optimal build. And with all that being said, I want to thank you all for watching and I hope I'll see you guys next time.
just want to thank y'all so much. Ooh.